Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 19, Club 4, Episode 6. We are with Paysandu. So uh, after winning in the fourth round of the Brazilian Cup, we have started league action, and we have also played the opening leg of the fifth round. So uh, we played OES, and we should have won this game. I didn't realize till after the match what I had screwed up on. We lost 1-0. Cascal uh, scored in the 40th minute. We played well. So, I don't know if you guys had noticed, but several of our screens I had noted, um, was it scouting, transfers? I, I don't know. But anyway, um, it said that we needed 25 people on the roster, and I only had 22. And I wasn't paying any attention. It wasn't giving me an error. I thought the club was big enough. Eh, whatever. So I went into the squad, and I said, you know what? And I was like, where's, like, Taquez wasn't showing up. I was like, where's, where's he at, you know? Uh, hello. Hold on. He's transfer listed. Um, I'm going to make an inquiry because I would like him. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, anyway, but he wasn't showing up on the squad. And I was like, because when he didn't show up when I, when I set my lineup for that first match, I was like, yeah, maybe he needed a rest. No big deal. So I played the game. The second match, I went in, and I was three subs short. And I was like, that's impossible. So I went in, and I looked, and I was like, well, well Takez isn't back. All And I was looking. All these guys are unregistered, right? Well, all my reserves. So I went in to the uh, registration, and I was like, oh, my God. So, yeah, all I had a ton of players not registered for competition. And I was like, oh, well, shit, that's a problem. Oh, maximum team size of 40, minimum of 25, and it said I only had 22. So that's, that's where I was, and I was like, okay. So then I came, I said, well, let me go check the red. I never got an email or anything about registration. So I look, and sure enough, I've got all these guys, 15 players unregistered, right? So I'm like, oh, shit. So, <laughs> so anyway, we uh, we take care of that, and then we come back. We play SBE. We win 5-0. Uh, Rooster with a brace. Lorenko with a goal. Taquez with a goal. Rojas with a brilliant shot. Um, just a beautiful goal. Uh, pro it's going to be a goal of the year Canada, I guarantee. Um, so then we played uh, INT, uh, Inter. Uh, in the first leg, we won 5-2. They were favorites. Gamarez with a goal. Romulo Frank, our captain, with a brace. Taquez with another goal on a penalty. And Rooster with a goal. So Rooster is sitting on like 59 goals now for his career. And the club record is 65. So he is nearing the goal scoring record for the club's history. Um, and we'll talk about Rooster in a minute. And then uh, we just played uh, Fig and we won 3 1. Pipoca uh, got a late goal in the 88th minute. Rojas with an 86 minute goal. That might have been the big goal. One of Rojas's goals was just a beautiful laser shot. Top bends, right post, just brilliant. So anyway, outside of that, we've been on a pretty good run of form. Uh, second division has popped up into here, and we're currently sitting sixth. Now, we're, board expectation is mid-table. We looked at the uh, season preview, uh, or I did, before we started, and we were picked to finish 10th, exactly mid-table. And uh, yeah, so that's the top four relegated teams from last season are favored to go up. And, okay, we actually have a club that got promoted that's favored to stay up. So, anyway, that is where we are at right now. Now, Rooster. 
I have noticed in this game, FM19, in this version, when you go to a club, usually one of these is extremely bad for a long while, like several seasons, until you start winning, and that usually fixes the problem. So leadership support, I don't know what the issue of that is. Plus, as we just said, what's the problem, right? What's the problem? So I really don't like, I'm, I'm really not liking this screen because it doesn't particularly give you any information, right, about everybody here is happy. Everybody. So I don't know. It doesn't tell me why they're upset with my team leadership. It Now, I actually had four players that opposed me. Now it's only two. I have no idea why. Rojas has played 19 matches, started 13 of them. He's first team. I, I don't know what his issue is. And then Felipe. Now, Felipe was upset because he was one of those guys that has like a $13 million buyout in his contract, and he wanted to leave for, for 25 cents. And I said no. So, you know, I mean, he's making 140 grand a week. We're winning. I don't understand what his issue is. So I haven't understood that. No negative concerns. Very happy, right? I've got something flying around my desk here, and it's getting in my eyeballs. Um, so, yeah, I don't understand what's going on with these dynamics. So if you guys have any any idea, because I, I really, I'm really not understanding this uh, at all. Now, Ruster, if we look at his dynamics, he's got no issues. But he actually asked to be transferred, and I was like, no. <laughs> so, you know, and he appreciates my position, so that's new. I have no idea what these guys are doing, right? His dynamics, no opinion, and I don't care about that. That shouldn't be a problem. Now, the only thing I can think now that I'm looking at this is maybe he loved the former coach so much that he's taking it out on me, but it's not my fault that this guy left, right? I mean, he, he chose to leave. I had nothing to do with that. Don't hold it out on me. So, anyway. Uh, so, where are we at today? We are playing uh, CRI in a uh, league match, second division, and then we're going to play the second leg against uh, INT in the fifth round of the Brazilian Cup. Taking a look at finances, we have 31000 in profit for the month. We're within a half a million dollars of breaking even since the turn of the calendar. So, let's get into it. Uh, let's see, have we, let me back out here, find my screen that I want. Did I get to the, I don't think I did. Tactics. All right, and submit the team. There we go. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, they're playing a 4-1-4-1. Pretty defensive. Pick up where you left off. And let's get to it. We are in the blue. I actually like those kits. All right, we get the first shot. We're dominating possession. And he puts it in the net. Junior Ramos, his fifth goal of the season, makes us look bad. That was actually a nice finish. I 
can't help but feel Nello should have got there. Oh, cello. All right, nice block. Well, I guess that wasn't a nice block because that was a block on us. All right, Germales up to Pedro. Horrible, horrible attempt at a heel kick. Ooh, that was ugly. Mateus works in it back inside. Garanjo. Oh, man. Mateus Yao, third goal of the season. Boy, he made our keeper sit down and look bad. <sighs> two shots, two on target, two goals. The Dem is not gambling odds, people. All right, nice tackle. And he gets a red card. Hmm. All right. We are going to go here. We are going to go balanced. Huh. Well, seems we've tightened up. Of course, they could have pulled back into a shell. Why they would do that, I don't know. Uh, yes, that was disappointing. Push forward. Anxious, fired up. Fired up garage. Damn. Oh my god. Alright, Felipe controls it. At least he didn't just hoof it out. That's nice. Boy, boy, boy. Rooster's not looking good. Uh, mid left. Let's bring Caesar on for him. Tita. Let's bring him on. I do have a young guy that I told I promised him I would give him some first game chances and I have not. Um, is he on the bench? He is not. All right, so I I need to find out where he's at then. Remind me to look for him after this match. Let's bring on Columbari for Lauren Cow. We've only managed three shots. I'm not happy with that. Vanderlei. Vanderlei. I think the referee looks too close to their uniform. I think he's on the take. I think he's like that idiot that called the the Leeds game this past week. Did you guys see that? He's got I forget the guy's name. Um offsides, thank God. Um so 14th minute of the match, he calls a red card on a tackle on a tackle in the box that was shit and uh, gives them a penalty and sends our one of our two center backs off 
And we're already missing our, our captain and number and, and top center back in uh, Cooper. And uh, so we end up losing the match two to one to Millwall. Well, the replay shows that uh, our player that was sent off never touched the guy. He, he wasn't even within two feet of him. And from the from the referee, the, the, the angle the referee had. So here's where it gets interesting. We appeal it. We win the appeal. Go figure Leeds winning an appeal of anything with the league, right? With the FA and the EFL. Those guys are corrupt as hell. And we win the freaking appeal. But if they overturn the red card, meaning that there was no blatant foul, there was no trip in the box, we still got the penalty assessed to us, which they scored, which was the, you know, gave them the win. They didn't penalize the guy that took a dive for Millwall. So he didn't get punished at all. And the referee basically got a week off, a weekend off, because he's not doing any games this upcoming week. But it gets worse. Gets worse. Hold on. I want to go look at my squad. Hold that thought. So I need to find this guy. Osbomar. So I want to give him a start. He's got really good finishing, really good pace. I think he can he's got good first touch. I want to give him a, some game time. Um All right, we're going to pick up another 450,000 from them. Um Was that a that was a straight red? Yes, it was. All right, so we are going to find him two weeks salary. He accepts his fine. Uh, so anyway, let's. Uh, well, I tell you what, let's come back for the next match, and I'll finish that story. Won't be a long break for you. See you in a second. All right, we're back for the second match. We've got a little time as the game gets to it, so I'll finish my story. So this official, this referee. Uh, turns out that he is a lifelong Man United fan. Okay. If you've been hiding under a rock and you are not aware, Man United and Leeds are bitter rivals. Even though they have not been in the Premier League together, they still don't like each other. Do I want to take that money? I really don't. They accepted it? What? Oh my God, the club president accepted it. He's valued at 1.1. Oh, that's harsh. I'm going to protest. Oh, good. Whew, thank goodness. Whew. Yeah, not happy about that. I hope he doesn't get mad, but geez, yeah. Whew. I was taken aback by that. All right, so anyway, back to the official real quick, and we'll get into the match. So he's a Man United fan. Now, personally, I don't have anything against Man United. I just don't like them. I never have. But I don't have the hatred for them that it seems most Leeds fans do. Because I didn't grow up in that atmosphere. And evidently Man United hates Leeds as well. Then this guy has an average. Okay, we play football manager, right? We look at officials. In fact, let's get to the match and I just want to use it as an example. An average of 0, 0.0 red cards per match. Now, he's only refereed one match this season, but over a full season, right, you still normally see 
very low red card, zero point something per match for red cards. This guy averages over a full red card, like one and a half red cards per match when he's officiating leads. The highest of any referee in the nation. That's not just a little suspect. That borders on blatant cheating by an official. And then there's rumor that he might be just having having a shit with it, you know, taking the piss out because every player that he has ever red carded with leads in the history of his officiate, and he's given out like eight red cards. They're all players that start with the letter B. So it's like he's just picking players at random and just throwing them out of games, kind of like he did this past week at Millwall. Obvious no foul, red card, penalty, I can screw leads over and nobody's going to care. And yeah, and then the league supports it because obviously cuz it's leads because they didn't if if he didn't commit a foul and yet a penalty was awarded because a player went down, if there was no penalty then that means there was a dive and a dive is against the rules of the game and they are supposed to be carded yet the guy wasn't carded. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. Fuck Millwall, fuck the officials, <laughs> and fuck Man United, just because. Uh, <laughs> all right, we are at home. We are slight underdogs. Almost a sellout today. Nice crowd. All right, Taquez is in. Faguinho's back from his injury. That is nice. Um, I do want... That's not the guy I want in. I would like, I'm going to take Suarez out. And there he is right there. Now, can I put him on the left side? I can. What's his crossing? His crossing sucks. Ruster is much better. And I'm certainly going to start Taquez, but I want to give this guy some match time. And I do want to give him some starts when Taquez cannot because Guimaraes usually runs up there, but I can keep him in the midfield. Yes. Yes, I can. All right, so let's get to this. So anyway, sorry for the rant. Still upset about that, and that was a week ago, maybe over a week ago. Go out, prove a point. Good job. All right, we are in uh, our maroon uniforms. I can live with that. We need to get creative today. Angelo, Angelo, Acosta. Come on, boys, close them down. Take control, steal the ball. Don't give up a goal. That would be the worst. Look, it's Everton. They got demoted to Brazil. Oh, there's a header. Nice. Luis Pedro over the top. Taquez on the breakaway. Ah, oh, damn it. You've got to slot that one home. I'm going to keep an eye on him. They're not going to accept the offer that I just put in, but I am a uh, oh, nice save by Nilo. But uh, I am going to keep an eye if they let his contract run out. If you think I'm going to pay whatever they asked, and he's in the last six months of his deal. Okay, Rojas. Yeah. All right, Moralio, nice nice get to the ball. Oh, nice drop inside. There it is. Yes, Ruster, Rooster, somebody. 11th goal of the season. He is looking good. And that puts him at 60 goals, I believe. So he's only five away from the club mark. He can get there this year because they play a lot of freaking games. 
All right, he skims the top of the net. Uh, we are six to two, by the way, on uh, aggregate. Just remember, five to two win last time. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about about this. As long as we're we're in contention here, I may actually put that guy on at halftime, and give him a full half. I'm liking it so far. Liking it so far. All right. I am going to make the sub. So let's let's put him in for Takez. He ought to come on pretty quickly. There we are. Osvalmar. He hasn't played for me yet, so I haven't seen anything of him in action. So, all right, um, Borghino. I do want to limit him a little bit. What about Tabury? Let me put Tabury in there for Borghino. And then yeah I think I'm all right there all right praise doo doo I don't want to know uh Osvamar well he's fitting in with the team he picked up a yellow card uh, Felipe, defensive left. Let's put uh, Columbari in there. Get us to the end of the match. Let's go down to balanced. Slow up the pace a little bit. All right. So we get the advancement. Nice. Uh, appreciate the efforts. How did he play? 6.4, not very good. First match, though. Get him into some match fitness. All right, first leg triumph, yes. 6-2 aggregate, that's awesome. $70,000. And, ooh. Yeah, so they are, they were one of the relegated clubs this past season. They're the club that has been really going after the uh, some of our players. Did we play Santos or did we miss that opportunity? Yeah, that was not last year. That was that would have been up here. No, we did not play Santos. But we could. We could here. All right. So, just a reminder, uh, Football Manager 20 has been announced uh, for the third Tuesday of the month. So, beta will come out on November 5th. Full release is on the 19th. So, on the 5th, my goal is to do the beta save. On the 19th, I will start uh, the new save, whatever that will be. I am in thoughts right now. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts that you would like to see uh, in FM20, let me know. I take all that into in, you know under under my thought process. And again, with a small channel, I can do that. Um, I like the Journeymans. Um, I think I screwed up this year by not doing my Journeyman early on, and we're kind of up against it here with the goal of the Journeyman. But because we're doing a journeyman now, I'm kind of leaning towards going with a one team setup and, you know, trying to build that team to the top level wherever it's at. Um, so anyway, uh, just let me know what you guys have as far as thoughts. If you, you know, any clubs, any leagues, any countries I should consider, would you rather another journeyman starting somewhere else? Uh, with FM20 and just doing a full journeyman for, for FM20? 
Um, anyway, let me know. Uh, you know, we need to start bouncing ideas around, and uh, we can certainly do that. Um, I've had a lot of fun over here in South America, but, you know, I, I want to move on. Um, keep in mind, you know, I'll probably never play Man United. I will never play in Turkey. Um, just, you know, that's just how it is. Um, anywhere else I'm pretty open to. You know, those are the only two places that I really have any particular feelings about that I don't just wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. Um, but anyway, um, because that game is imminent, I think we need to kind of power through. So why don't I get through the rest of this month? We can come back for OPE and ALA's opening leg in the quarterfinal. And then MCL and ALA or ALA and AMG. And we'll do two quick episodes. And then we can bounce down a little bit farther. Um, so let's go that route. Guys, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you don't mind. Leave some comments. Leave your thoughts for uh, for FM20 in the comments. Uh, if you have any thoughts on this, let me know. And uh, how we're doing or anything of that nature. And uh, I think we're doing really well, to be fair. And uh, quick look at competition. Wow, that's, that's pretty great. Well, two losses. Two wins, two losses. Six points. It's not great, but it is what it is. It is what it is. That was disappointing. We ought to have the draw. Oh, we already had that. Already had that. And I think we're done with everything else. So, yeah. All right, guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye.